Hey everyone, it's Rick Terry, your Maine Real Estate Guide, and today I'm at home here in Millinocket, Maine, with a little update for you, something a little different. You know, uh, I work a lot outside, uh, whether it's, you know, selling real estate, uh, which, you know, involves taking pictures and shooting video and those sorts of things, and then I work around my properties, you know, here in Millinocket, as well as my off-grid cabin and, and whatnot, and one of the key elements that I have very little control over, but have to deal with, uh, is weather uh, and what the weather is going to be. Uh, you know, to, to try to plan my week or plan my days, uh, my my events as best as possible. Uh, especially when it comes to photography or video or whatnot. You know, it, uh, taking taking pictures and uh, working outside. Uh, you know, if it's raining, uh, it's it's pretty tough to. Uh, to get good quality video or good quality still photos of a of a property, so I'm always uh, checking the weather, looking ahead. And uh, I had a, a company reach out to me recently, uh, Sane Logic, and they uh, asked me to review a home weather station. And so that's what I'm going to do today. I'm going to review their SA6 uh, home weather station. Uh, it uh, has uh, wind speed and direction. Uh, Rain, rain meter gauge, uh, all, all kinds of bells and whistles. And one of the key elements in, <laughs> in their description of their product was <laughs> it's easy to use. So we'll find out, you know, if uh, this uh, 60 something year old can figure out how to set up the Wi Fi and all those sorts of things and, and make it work. So, uh, and they even uh, provided me a, a discount code if, uh, if you like what you see uh, once I get it up and running. Um, and you, uh, you know, Christmas is coming and stuff there, so it might make a great gift for for you uh, to have your own home weather station. Uh, but we'll uh, we'll we'll put it to the test here in, in a little bit. So I'm going to go go down to the down to the house. We'll do a little uh, unboxing, uh, and then I got to tear into the directions and see if we can get that uh, that weather station up and running. Uh, see how easy it is, uh, but. Uh, I've never had a weather station, you know. I I can tell you if it's sun is shining or the wind's blowing uh, by stepping outside. Uh, but uh, I never. I've always been curious, you know, how much. I, I know we got either a little bit of rain or a lot of rain, so now I'll have a rain gauge, and it's the rain gauge is supposedly pretty accurate, uh, up to uh, within a millimeter of uh, of uh, rainfall. So that's uh, that's that's a pretty small amount. So we'll we'll see. So I'm looking forward to it. So stay tuned uh, for uh, this this. First product review from Sane Logic, their SA6 Plus home weather station. So Sane Logic uh, provided me the weather station for no cost. They're just asking me for a, just an honest review of their product, uh, which I'm going to do. You know, so if I run into any difficulties during the installation, I'll tell you about them. Uh, but uh, I'm looking forward to this. Um, it it uh, it is. Uh, uh, does work on Wi-Fi and Bluetooth, and I guess it has about a 300-foot range. So I'm going to install the weather station right out here in my island, in the outside here. I've got this six by six pressure treated post that has a, a, a security light on it, and I'll mount, mount the weather station. I think I'll mount it right on top, and it needs to be level or pretty close to level for accurate rain. Uh, gauge uh, readings. Uh, so it'll be, I, I kind of straightened out this post this morning in anticipation that that's where it's going to go. I was trying to figure out where to mount it, you know, because where are you going to put the thing? Uh, but uh, I think that's the best place on my property to to put the, uh, the, the weather station is mount it right on top of that post. Now, I, I do know because I have I have done uh, <coughs> anemometry studies in the past for for different companies and anemometers, it's best to have them uh, <clears throat> oh, quite a ways away from any obstructions and whatnot. But I live in I live in the woods, uh, you know, so it, it is what it is. So uh, you know, the when the wind blows, it's going to be gusty. The direction's going to change because I have a lot of I've got a lot of obst obstructions around the area. I've got these buildings, I've got my solar panels, um, trees, uh, so. Uh, it'll be reasonably accurate, uh, but you know, uh, 
wind kind of acts, although you can't see it, it acts like water when it hits an, an obstruction, it rolls and, and bends ar around it. Uh, and so that, that you know, the, uh, the directionality, it's like, you know, I have a wind turbine up there and the best place for a wind turbine is above any obstructions, uh, you know, that are uh, within a, I think the recommendation was to be at least 30 feet or higher than anything around it for, for several hundred yards, which my, my 120 foot tower allows me to do. So, you know, there is a grain of salt here, you know, the, the accuracy of the anemometer and the wind <coughs> in the wind vane uh, is kind of limited to, um, you know, where it's placed. So, but uh, bear that in mind. So, and, and I'm going to, but it's, it's still nonetheless, I think that's the best place. It's re relatively in the open. Uh, so definitely during you know, when we get some rain and stuff, it, that's there should be a really good location for that, and reasonably good for everything else. So here's the Sane Logic Smart Weather Station, and it came pretty well boxed. And here's some of the highlights of the SA6 Plus. It says it's AI powered with 24-hour and seven-day weather forecasting. It has professional accuracy. I mentioned it when I was outside that it's accurate within a millimeter for rainfall, which is that's that's pretty pretty amazing. Um, it's compatible with Weather Underground. It has a, a color LCD display that will be inside where you can take a look at you know weather data and whatnot. Uh, Two-year data data storage and export. Uh, it's got a new app that you can use on your phone. So, you know, I, I guess if you're traveling and you're wondering what it's doing at home, you could, you could take a look. And uh, a, bunch of, a bunch of other things. But the key that I'm keying on is easy to install and set up. So let's find out. So let's open this baby up. has quite a bit of instructions and I'll be referring to these so I'm not going to bore you with that when I get ready to start installing it I'll, I'll go do that and we'll make it work. Here's the display which is in, in bubble wrap. And this is mounted inside and it connects with Wi-Fi to, uh, to, the, to the weather station itself. I believe this is the post for mounting it. Here's the mount. So we'll put this thing all together. But here's the weather station. So this is for wind speed. This is your anemometer, your wind vane, your rain gauge. There must be a th thermometer in here as well because it takes you know temperature and, the, and it measures uh, sun radiance, I guess. Um, so this somewhere in here is another sensor. And there's a filter to keep, I guess, probably keep leaves and stuff out of, out of the rain gauge dirt. Power cord for the display. Oh, it even comes with a little screwdriver to put it all together. So there's all the parts. So let's see if this old guy can make it work. Well, at this point here, we're reaching the frustration mode. I've downloaded their app to my phone and confirmed that I've received it through the app and uh, I can't seem to make it pair through Bluetooth following their instructions. So I'm going to take a little pause here uh, and probably call their tech assistance and see if we can get a little help. Uh, but uh, their app seems to be lacking in, uh, in something because it's, it's not straightforward for sure. Okay, so we got through the frustration phase called tech assistance, they answered the phone, live human, talked me through the issues, and uh, I got the display going. So here we are, here's the display. Now I've got to uh, 
go back outside and mount the unit and then I've got to orient it. I got to get my compass out and orient the wind vane uh, and follow the rest of the instructions to get this up and running. But um, you know, when all when all else fails, <laughs> you start to get frustrating. <laughs> sometimes, sometimes tech assistance can can help uh, an, old, an old dog. You know, I I you know I'm not as up with technology as someone a little a couple decades younger than myself. You know, I learned basic computer programming on a Tandy radio to TRS-80 with five and a quarter inch floppy disks. <laughs> so <laughs> my computer skills are not, not the greatest. But anyway, we, uh, we got the display up and running uh, and uh, got, got it paired with my phone and all the, all the, the happy bells and whistles. So, so that's where I've got it mounted. Uh, it recommended uh, you know, mounting it so you look at it from, from above. And so I've got it slightly below uh, my my uh, my height and uh, and out in an area where we'll see it and use it, not tucked away in a corner someplace. So so uh, it looks pretty good. It's pretty cool. It displays nice and bright. Um, and uh, so let's uh, let's continue with the project. Okay, so I've got the, uh, the weather station all assembled, and I'm getting ready to go mount it on the, in my island outside on that 6x6 pressure treated post. It has nice, it's pretty sturdy. One of the, the key things that you need to keep in mind when you, when you mount it is you need to orient the wind vane appropriately, and it's, it's got a, it's got uh, there's an S right there. Hard to see in that black plastic, but that's for south. So I got to get my uh, my compass out and make sure that I orient this to south, and then the uh, directional information that I'll get, for, you know, from the weather station will be pretty accurate. Uh, so it's only as accurate as uh, as how you mount it, I guess. So I'll make sure and orient it to south and. Uh, uh, we should be good to go. So let's uh, gather up some more tools and head outside and get this mounted. So we got through that uh, the installation of the Sane Logic SA6 Plus uh, weather station relatively unscathed. <laughs> you know, the only the only thing that kind of threw me for a loop for for a while, and I had to reach out for help because it, uh, you know, the, when you I, I know myself when I reach my frustration limit, it's time to ask someone to. Uh, to help me out. Uh, it wasn't a problem of the product, it was a problem of Rick Terrio just not understanding the, the, the directions clearly enough. Um, but uh, the lady at, uh, at Sane Logic helped, helped me right through it in five or ten minutes on, on the phone. Uh, we're up and running, got all the, got my iPhone talking to the, to the display on the wall which talks to the weather station out here. Everybody's communicating which is uh, what, what, what you're trying, trying to do to get this set up. Uh, but uh, the actual uh, mounting of the of the device and, and is, is pretty straightforward. It comes pretty much all assembled. You gotta put well, put some batteries in it. I put three lithium AA batteries on the inside of it that, that uh, pro provide power to, for transmission of the of the data to the unit inside, um, and uh, a couple of mounting screws and. Um, <clears throat> And I mounted it on this post and I adjusted it so it's pretty level. I'll have to keep an eye on it because this isn't mounted in cement. I've got it mounted in rocks, but it's uh, it's pretty solid. Um, but uh, that's a, it's a pretty cool device. Uh, measures wind speed, direction, rainfall, sun radiance, temperature, um, humidity, uh, and all, all that uh, typical weather data. Um, and uh, <clears throat> made for the homeowner. So if you happen to be in the market for a weather station, you've been thinking about buying one or whatever or not, it's, uh, the same logic SA6 may be a, a, good, a, good, a good fit. Uh, 
Uh, I can't speak to how how rugged it is. Well, time will tell on that, but it seems to be pretty well built. Uh, it has a pretty good reputation on online from what I can tell. Uh, they did uh, provide a discount code for viewers of the Terrio Humane Real Estate Guide YouTube channel. I'll put all that information on the screen as well as in the comments uh, where you can save 30%. Uh, they put set up a special website. You know, I, I don't I don't receive a nickel from that. That's but you will receive thirty percent savings. Uh, what I what I got for compensation here was the weather station. So you know, I'm, I give you my honest opinion of you know how 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 this all un, unfolded when we ran into a technical difficulty. I told you about it, uh, but we we persevered. We got through it, and that's uh, kind of what you need to do with life because <laughs> life's going to throw you a curveball every once in a while you need to ask someone for a little help don't be afraid to do that you know so until next time this is rick tarot humane real estate guide on location here in Millinocket, Maine.